Imagine that your confidence levels were so high that people couldn't stop noticing your overwhelming presence. I want that for you, so I'll be going through a step-by-step -step process I use myself to transform from a fat, chubby loser to more fit and proactive version myself. Oh, and don't worry, I'm not going to tell you to be yourself. That advice is BS. But firstly, to solve the problem, you need to find the issue. Because if you don't solve the issue, you won't be able to implement the solutions that I'm about to tell you to be more confident. Issue number one, being physically too weak. One of the main reasons why teenagers are so inconfident about themselves is because they're so physically weak. Either they can't bench the bar or they can't run a mile without stopping and gasping for air. No matter what it is, physical weakness leads to insecurities which leads to inconfidence in young adolescents. To be extremely confident, you must not be insecure about your physical limitations. You must be so confident that you can do every single thing. You can bench a ton of weight. You can run a marathon. You can do literally anything. And that's what confidence is. But sadly, as testosterone levels get lower and lower over the decades, adolescents and teenagers continuously become weaker and weaker and weaker. Issue number two, being mentally soft. Being physically weak is pretty pathetic, but what happens if your brain, if your self-esteem was weak and soft as well? So many teenagers lack resilience, perseverance, determination, and of course their faith and ability to just believe in themselves and believe that they can do it. Instead, teenagers complain, they weep, and they victimize themselves. It's just so depressing to see. It's not getting any better anytime soon. So why am I telling you all of this? Because quite frankly, I don't want you to be weak. I don't want the young men and women of our next generations complain and weep instead of working harder and harder towards their goals. And of course, I don't want you to be unconfident in your own body and soul. This is why I'll be giving you a four step guide in order to help you be more confident. These are the same four steps I personally use to develop unshakable confidence from a fat, chubby loser. Step number one, being physically active. About one third of teenagers feel insecure about themselves in a physical way. And I was part of this large percentage. I was fat, I was chubby, I couldn't even bench the bar, and I couldn't even run a mile without gasping for air. I got bullied, I had low self-esteem, and I was depressed. And this is exactly why I started going to the gym. Exercising regularly has several benefits, including improved cognitive focus, improved academic performance, and improved blood flow to the brain. Other than these mental benefits, you start feeling better about yourself. You start being able to be more socially present. People will start noticing you more. Perhaps the world will treat you better because the world is nicer to more attractive people. That's just a hard truth. If you're fat, skinny, or even skinny fat, I recommend you start exercising. No matter if this is weight training or running or calisthenics or what. Whatever it is, I don't care, start exercising. And the best way to do is just go to the gym and just see what works out for you. It will change your life. Even if you don't get completely obsessed by it, like a bodybuilder, exercise will still play such a major role in your life. Step number two, diet and other factors. See, let's say you've been training for a while. Let's say that you've been resistance training and that you've built a pretty good physique, but your face still looks like crap and you feel pretty insecure about it. Well, let's fix that. See, I'll be listing three factors that mainly damage your looks and aesthetics, and how do you fix them? Which I'm gonna explain right here. Factor number one is your diet. See, most teenagers eat McDonald's for lunch, which honestly is kind of sad and depressing to even view. This will lead to worse health, worse skin health, and is a one-way ticket to obesity. By switching up your diet to more whole foods, you look less bloated, you have less acne, and perhaps you even lose weight in the process, making you look better. Factor number two is your jaw. Yes, your jaw does play a big role. If you have a fat double chin, you look disgusting. So even getting the actor's jawline can differentiate you from a rock star to Nikocado Avocado. So start breathing fruit in your nose, maybe even start mewing and chewing gum. And that's basically all you need. Just start breathing through your nose and it'll make such a big difference. 
Fact number three, your hair. If you have a bad haircut, obviously you're gonna look absolutely terrible. On the screen, I have suggestions right here if you have black straight hair like mine, but go see what works out for you. You can't just go online and search up the best haircut. You really have to experiment with this step. Eventually, you will land on one that you really like. Now, after you got a really nice face, let's talk about the mental aspects of confidence. See, confidence isn't just physical. You could look great physically, but mentally, if you are weak, you are incompetent, you're so insecure about yourself, your physical changes mean nothing. This is why it's important to move on to the third step of this four-step process, focusing. See, so many teachers lack the ability to focus in class. You get distracted by their TikTok, their notifications, their friends texting them, blah, blah, blah. Basically, they get distracted all the time. You can't have a thousand useless random thoughts in your head. You must be Focus. You must have focused thoughts in your head. When you're in class, you are present. You are focused on absorbing as much information as possible. When you're at home, you are focused on working and getting your homework done. The average teenager doesn't care. They focus on random thoughts, 50 different useless things. But the exceptional and confident teenager focuses on two to three extremely important things in their lives. It focuses on improving every single small detail of that focus no matter what they focus on their core purposes which actually leads me into my final point step number four is to find a purpose see a purposeless teenager is like a ship without a compass wandering aimlessly in the vast sea of existence now look 90 percent of teenagers are feeling lost in life 90 percent of teens don't know what to focus on it don't know long term what they're going to be i don't want you to be like that i want you to be so confident in your choices and so confident that you and your purpose alone will set the stages for the future to be confident you must excel on what you focus on in order to focus on something so specific that must become a purpose i have a whole video on finding your own purpose that i've created a few days ago so go check it out after this video you must fail and fail and fail and fail over and over again on your goals and with resilience get up every single damn time and eventually succeed on one of those times because success is not built on inheritance it is built on failure it's built on setbacks perfect example is Lionel Messi the goat one of his main purposes of his life was to win the world cup for Argentina but he failed he failed he failed and he failed over and over again but did he give up no he did not every single time he was knocked down he got up every single time he had a setback he never gave up he found a way to break through his setbacks and eventually he did reach his goal in 2022 so if you want to be like Messi Click on this video right here on the screen to find out how to find your purpose. This is an in-depth guide, not like a quick summary in this video here. Anyways, thank you for watching and subscribe. Try to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Anyways, see you guys later and thank you for your time.